Islam Makachev is ready for a bigger fight, get him closer to the title. What do you think about that? He's got good skills, but good is not enough. You can be great. Thank you for tuning in to Luxurytainment, my fight fans. In this video, I will explain why Islam Makachev will beat Dan Hooker and in a very comfortable way. Dan Hooker is fresh off his UFC 266 win over Nasrat recently and decided to make a quick turnaround and fight Islam Makachev at UFC 267. Dan Hooker replaced former lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos, who was forced to withdraw due to injury. It was indeed a brave effort on Hooker to step in on short notice, the highly touted Makachev, but for manager Ali Abdulaziz, the Kiwi may only be in for it for the payday. I know a lot of like a lot of people believe me like my my coach always told me hey you're gonna be next you're gonna be next now like a lot of people talk about me what I have to do I just have to training hard and that's it because I have good wrestling skills good striking skills grappling I just have to improve improve and training hard Much respect to Dan Hooker, they can say whatever they want. He's showing up for a payday and I respect Hooker a lot, Abdulaziz to Electrotainment. He's a nice guy, I respect him as a fighter too, but he can say whatever he wants, his coaches can say whatever they want. He's getting paid to show up. I just have to be in, you know, this year I have to fight two, three times more and beginning 2022 I'm going to be champion. The only way he can win is a lucky punch. Islam beats people every second of a fight. Islam is never vulnerable in a fight. People are going to say, oh, Islam Makachev, he's boring, he's this, he's that. They said this about Khabib for a long time. Khabib is pound for pound the greatest fighter. you think the fight between you and Tony Ferguson will look how the fight between him and Khabib would have looked? Uh, a little bit yes, because uh, like always when Khabib uh, take this fight versus Tony, like Tony Southpaw, I am Southpaw too, that's why all these like how many, five times I help Khabib for this fight. 
That's why I know exactly how Tony works. I know a lot about him. Uh, you know, uh, Habib and me have just almost same technique. We have good wrestling, good, gra good uh, grappling skills. That's why I just want to show people how Habib take him down, like control him, make him tired, like make him tap. I just, everybody talk like Tony, like hard fight for Habib, but I never think like that because Habib's wrestling and grappling like different level. Nobody have like that. How, how much do you want this fight? Because a lot of people would say after tonight, fighting Tony Ferguson, that's a step back. Islam Makachev is ready for a bigger fight, get him closer to the title. What do you think about that? Mm, I don't think this is a step back because Tony is number five, six. That's why this is gonna be good for me. And Tony, a uh, very good fighter, because he finished a lot, a lot of guys. That's why I just want to check my skills, and I know I can finish him. Islam Makachev last fought in July against Thiago Moses, whom he submitted in the fourth round. He is now on an eight-fight win streak to secure a top five spot in the rankings. But according to Abdulaziz, his fighter has barely scratched the surface. If I have to rank Islam today in the pound-for-pound pound list, I promise you he's top five pound-for-pound. Pound. I believe he will be one of the greatest UFC fighters we've ever seen. I've been training with Islam for seven years, he said. I see him beating Daniel Cormier around, beating Luke Rockhold, giving Khabib his toughest rounds. I believe he's something special. I believe he's destined to be a world champion and people can say whatever they want about him. They know in their heart and soul that he's the toughest fight they can ever get. Honestly, I just want to fight with somebody from top five, but I know all these guys busy, somebody have fights like this, but I know Tony now free. That's why I just ask him, let's make this happen. You've not seen relaxed Islam Akachev yet. Little by little, he's getting more relaxed and more loose. But I'm gonna tell you, loose Islam will beat some of the guys in the top five in the welterweight division too. And he'll beat some guys in the middleweight division also. He is this good. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and who do you think is going to win? Go again.